Hey guys, how you doing? I've had a question over the last few days regarding moving apps to the SD card on the Android devices running Nougat 7 or Nugget 7 however you say it. So I just thought I'd do a quick run through. Now I'm going to show you on my Samsung S8 Plus. I'm also going to show you on the Tab A 10.1 uh, that I reviewed a little while ago. So how you do it is you go into your settings, down to apps, okay then you move down to whichever app you want to move, so let's try my BBC Sport, you click on the storage tab okay and if you can see there where it says storage used at the top and it says change so I'll click on change and then you get the option to either press internal storage or SD card okay so you press SD card goes away for 30 seconds or so and pops it on your SD card it's as simple as that so you can do it um, I believe there's been some stories around saying you can't do it in Android 7 uh, so that's my S8 Plus, so I'll just grab the Tab A, bear with me, I'll show you the, uh, for some reason, it's because my battery's, uh, there we go, okay, so I'll be going to settings, See this guys, yeah. Apps and we'll try BBC Sports again. And exactly the same process, storage and then storage used to change and you get the same message again. Now obviously I've just shown you now on two Samsung devices. Now from what I can tell, um it does vary slightly from manufacturer to manufacturer so you may get a slightly different look when you're trying to move stuff across in the settings menu I do believe there's also a different type of storage you can use your SD card for which is um, it's like an adaptive shared storage that's only certain manufacturers um, Samsung doesn't doesn't support this so Anyway, I said I'd do this quick video for one of the questions I had, so there you go. It can be done, so if you've got any games, you can move across to your SD card. Now obviously there is certain apps that it won't move across, it'll be more apps that are more... Um, maybe system specific or they have to be on your actual phone itself, so maybe things like banking apps um, or things with sensitive information on. Um, let's just see if we can find one. So there I've got my Barclays. There we go, Barclays it doesn't give you the option. That's because that needs to actually stay on the phone rather than on your SD card. So it still does have, it limit, it have, does have its limitations but certainly things like games um, and you need to move a big file across then yeah you can do that. Anyway Okay guys, hope this has helped and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.